Hello everyone, what's up? This is Chad the Gamer. And it's me, JTK Gamer, also known as that guy the spy. And we're gonna react to the Nintendo Direct for today that just came out that was just uploaded three minutes ago. Even though yeah. the live stream was at six PM. But I'm like, eh, I'd rather do the uploading because you know last time the live stream I tried to record. Oh, pay no mind to that. <laughs> Skype. Yeah, it didn't go pop small. up. Yeah, Skype messages. It's okay. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I want to get a couple, you know, like things out of the way. I'm not having high expectations for this, I mean, because the the E3 was just like about, let's see, three months ago. So, <clears throat> so yeah. I'm hoping that we see if we see something smash here. I hope it's related to like Banjo Kazooie and maybe a release date for them. I hope. Wow. I word in the street is from the newborn nation that they announced the character now. I didn't see who it was, but judging by the memes that they were sending in the uh, the server, I have a feeling I'm going to be raging pretty hard when I see whoever it is. I have a bad feeling about it myself. Even though I would love to see a character like um like Crash Bandicoot or Shantae or someone like that, you know, like someone like deserving, or maybe even Spyro for goodness sake. Exactly. Yeah, or maybe Chrono would be fantastic. It would. Oh man, another Super Nintendo representative would be perfect. Oh man, but an in a good indie representative. No, notice how I say "good indie representative" in all capitals. Because Sante is a good one. Because it would be it would be real disappointing that if that Shantae and Shovel Knight get rejected and they add some indie character who has no right being in the game. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind Cuphead. I wouldn't mind him at all because I play. Yeah, that Cuphead. Game. Cuphead would be fine. At least it tries to look retro. Yeah, it looks and the art style is really unique, and I love it. I love the game. I played the game before, and it's fun. But, I mean, we're mostly talking about, like, Smash here because I heard that's going to be the biggest thing in this video. Besides, Next obviously, Luigi's Mansion. Mansion. Yeah. Luigi's yeah. Mansion. Yeah, 3 yeah, Emmett. <laughs> I mean, what are your hopes for this video? Oh, well, obviously, Luigi's Mansion, uh, the Smash thing has gone out the door at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some Breath of the Wild stuff, you know. Yeah. I, we, we were talking last night that they this is an odd time. For them to do the direct, they usually do them like in the early mornings or the early afternoons. And the fact yeah. that they're doing this late is kind of like okay, that's kind of weird. weird. It is weird. I mean, they're probably doing it for the for the fact that most of it's Luigi's Mansion, and they want to theme it, which I think is cool. Yeah, it makes sense. I'll give them that. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> also I actually heard rumors, but it would be interesting since I wanted to play this game years ago, but never had the chance to pick it up. Will be Overwatch, because my friends play it only with friends, of course, and I'm like, I really wanted to play it with them, but I never had the system to play it on. Sadly, yeah. I mean, I would like to play Overwatch, and if it comes to Switch, that would be awesome. I'd be like, yay! And hopefully, it's cross compatible. Like crossplay. Okay. If it's crossplay, I'll be like, well, I know what I'm getting for Switch. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, enough of the predictions out of the way. Let's just get to the direct. Are you ready? All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. All right. Nintendo, what stuff you doing today? I better be pleased. Well, with Luigi's Mansion, and I hope we hear something about Bands of Kazooie's release date. Or maybe Shovel Knight King of Cards, or Shantae and the Seven Sirens. I even combed my hair for this. Wait, I wanted it to look nice. What, what was I talking about earlier? Ain't that swell. Are you kidding me? Did I just call it? Shout out to you, my boy Digital Waffle, if you're watching this. Overwatch or Switch? Also, shout out to you, Bootleg Trixie, for playing Overwatch. Oh man, I bet Zaldin's going nuts right now. He's probably like, ah! He's probably squealing. Oh, this is awesome. Let's try to turn it down so you can hear us, guys. It looks awesome. 
It's pretty dank with Spanklage. I don't really play Overwatch myself, but... But it looks good! I never get to play it, but now I get to play the game! Finally! <laughs> Diva, I love Diva. Well, wow, that's a great way to open it with the Overwatch confirmed. <laughs> October 15th! Zaldin's probably. And everything's sweet. coming out in October. Mm hmm. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm sir. Shinya Takahashi. Mr. Takahashi! And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Awesome! The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. What a good okay, opener! Let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. There we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Hey! The hotel for yourself. Nice! Luigi's by the way, this is an honor of Annika. Hotel. Where every floor has a distinct Attica. theme unlike any other. Case in point, peace, two suites. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's like a... a wow. A yeah. Guess we should expect some mummies. Oh. Sands. Mummies! So it seems to play out like, uh... It seems like they've taken the gameplay from well, Dark Moon. Disco no, Disco, really? I'm sorry. Di okay, then. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you... This is kind of like Luigi's Mansion All-Stars then, because it's all like... Amenities. Step Screen right up Park. to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. And in this part of watching... Mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Excuse me? One Nintendo Switch system. Wait, two to eight, eight players? players? Can it out. That's pretty cool. Defeat the most ghosts. <laughs> wow. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. And break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's yeah, Mansion does. 3 opens its doors on October 31st, Eight? just in time Wait, for Why it launch it on a, a Halloween exactly? I mean, I get the idea, but it's kind of redundant to do it on Halloween. Game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and oh, another one of the... for some wicked oh boss Oh my gosh, fights. yes! We're calling it Super Kirby Where have I Flash. seen one of these before? Do you remember Take that in Kirby? Yeah. Oh, that's what, okay. So it's another one of those. Get your weapons, get oh, your gear, so cool. and get ready. Some mighty Is this on Switch? Wait. There are more than 100 quests. I mean, it's on the Switch headline, so. Get your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. What the heck? The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Or even play online. Yes! It's what we need! <coughs> oh boy. It'll be time to unite with friends and players. Maybe we'll see another Triforce Heroes game in the future. Oh, oh it's Nightmare! When Super Kirby Clash launches later. I've no oh, later today! What? Yeah, he wasn't in the original. Too. This long awaited, recently released RPG oh. is getting a remake. An announcement for After 25 it. years. Fans of the Mana series now, when are you gonna hit me up with that Chrono Trigger remake? <laughs> trilogy, yes, that should be next. This is one I've From been wanting for a while. You'll choose a protagonist and two companions. I've never played Trials of Mana, but I've heard a lot of people like it. Well, this was a only in Japan for, for 25 years. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character the advances, voice acting's pretty good. Have the opportunity to switch their class. Wasn't this like a trilogy? Or am I, am I, or am I, but I might be mistaken that. It's not a trilogy, it's like its own series. They have like a few mana games. Huh. Like a few different ones. I, could, I, I might be getting this mixed up with Illusion of Gaia. Yeah, Illusion of Gaia, by the way, I want to play it. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Oh, the game looks so good. Find out what's in store for the beloved Ooh, world next year. of Trials of Mana on April 25th. Trials of Mana. Let's do this. This what happened to huh? the return of Doom Oberdin? The Oberdin vanished at sea Oberdin. in 1803. Only to watch oh, this is like some later. weird pen and ink style gra uh, yeah. art style. I like that. Reminds me a lot of the original Turok game. As an it does. Investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance. A horror and game. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the Ooh. power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. 
Oh wow. Explore the ship. It's nice that Nintendo is not holding back on the censorship anymore. It's, they're treating the Switch like any other console now. Yep. Like, remember in Nintendo 64? Yeah. They didn't censor anything. Wow. Little by little, tense. Tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Wow. That's intense. Return of the Oberdin arrives. Never even heard of this before. Me either. Oh, fall of this year. Maybe in November. There's a small town out there. With a <gasps> yes. Favorite. Who the heck are you? You remember this Never when they announced town. this? That is the. Can't say that I do. It was in the E3. And the it was called it. town. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant. You monster. remember this? To defend the town. Sadly not. One boy oh, named Axe will stand up to face it. Oh, this is completely new to me. I've the been waiting for this. It's a brand new game free game. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. Oh, During awesome. battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage cool. to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. Called Little Town. Huh. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Really? That's not a good thing then. Well, That's I mean, not a I'm good kind of thing I mean, then. I love the music, so... You can pre-purchase and preload the game later, today. <sighs> well, I want to get the game, so... Fall <gasps> is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We can finally oh, confirm yeah. the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. We say confirmed! And the release date is... Today! <gasps> After today's Nintendo Direct... Oh my gosh! ...a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. Oh. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. So it's his own separate video! So tied yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, the Banjo Kazooie hype is lost on me. I never not grew up me. playing the game, so honestly, I don't really give a grew care up with him, so. I'll probably do it myself. Wait. What's this? What do we have here? What's this? Wait, I, I have a feeling I don't. I'm not gonna like what I see. Oh no. Wait. Game of Watch. Why? Wait. Super Nintendo. You can't be serious. You can't be serious! A Neo Geo? Is that a Neo Geo? Oh, who from Neo Geo? What the heck? Who? What the? Excuse I already me, am... what? I'm confused. I'm mad. Wait a minute. Who's this? Who the heck are you? Who is this guy? Adult Who's this dragon? clown? Wait. If it was Double Dragon, that'd be pretty Wait, cool. Wait, is this Fatal Fury? Ninja Gaiden? Nah, it can't be Ninja Gaiden. Come on, well, well, why add a good character? What the heck? They're, they're trying too hard. Oh, that'd be cool if he got in. Uh, oh. <laughs> Way to go with all of these teaser Nintendo. Talk about tease. Oh, I don't like where this is going. My Nuri? My Nuri? Wait, who's that? Who is this? I... Hey, come on! You've who got me joking! You? I have no idea who that is. You've gotta be joking! I I don't know who that is. That's Terry so. Bogard. Good thing I didn't have high expectations. I did. But what so, the heck? Terry Bogard? Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is really? joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. 
Can there really be only one left? Oh no, it's gonna what get worse. More DLC Wait, what? The development of more DLC oh, fighters yeah! for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Looks like you have a chance to redeem yourself now. I called it! How long ago did I call that? So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, okay. we'll have more to share with you in the future. Okay, okay. For now, okay. let's continue right. with some Redeemed. more Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. Looks like they have a chance to redeem themselves. Oh man, I can't get this. I want to, but I can't. Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. I promise. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Even though we are a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. What? With the all-new Chamber Dungeon. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda. Oh, hey, I got the young that one, so now I can do that. that. I gotta get that ready, Link's Awakening amiibo, though. That will be hot. Link's Awakening will launch will... before you know it on September yeah, 20th. I'm getting Link's the new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. Oh my gosh. Wait, how long, how long do we have to You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're not even halfway done, now join JJ. his adventure. Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. Oh, the most complete I, version of a sprawling adventure story so that allows good. you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Yep. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. I noticed. Well, he told the me it's in. Launches, Free no, I don't want to count. In the champions pack, all the DLC free items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. <laughs> Slime King. Dragon Quest XI S: Echoes of an Elusive Age right Definitive back Edition. If you beat them, onto Nintendo and, Switch or September 27. Or jump on or something like that. You can jump on their backs and ride them to attack other enemies. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Wow. Wow. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? No! Then say hello to Tokyo. No! The Fire Emblem series and Atlas games are, are there problems? And the results oh, are this game was horrible! The story takes place in modern day Tokyo, oh, where creative energy I do is not so like abundant, this game. it's materialized I into played something it. called I played performer. hour of it, it's horrible. Which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Oh. You'll face off against this threat as up and comer Itsuki Aoi and his oh. friends are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom. Oh, that must be bad then, apparently. Dimension. Together, it's a bad you'll thing because they use the Fire Emblem characters as mere the armor for these the Fire Emblem terrible bland main series. characters. And, and bland they in the are. Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Uh, Be sure to check cares. out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle uh, for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? <sighs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore yep, they releases her on too, January I 17th. Gonna be, I was expecting to see Sans. Fucking, I was expecting to see Sans for the freaking Smash thing. I'm really glad that I, uh... What it seems. You were wrong. Boston. 2019. Sorry All to whoever likes Tokyo Marcus, yeah. but the and game is FBI awful. Agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a huh. blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch. In Apparently this is the second one. And now for wow. a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop oh. and Deadly Premonition Origins. Oh, well, well, later speaking today. of, there's the original. Oh, okay. For whoever never played the original. 
Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition what? is Wait finally What's coming this? to Nintendo Switch. Never heard of you. What's Divinity? Apparently it's the second one. Okay, um... And it's Definitive Edition? Wait, is this like a free roaming RPG or something? Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> Never heard of it. Me either. It looks cool. Oh, that looks sweet. Wow. And now for a message from Bethesda. Uh oh. Oh hey, you guys have been messing up everything as of late. Mm -hmm. Everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person <gasps> shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Oh, yes! No way. For the first time since its original release in 1997, <laughs> Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Nice! We're say it against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Hey, look at you, Bethesda. You did something player, right for once. Experience the hey! retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I love this game! Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Nice! Oh, Ciao. Man, have so many good memories of that game. Introducing a brand new IP from developer hi res Studios, Rogue Company. Huh? In most of the world, Excuse me? Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized Our new IT and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Oh. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Ooh. Switch in 2020. Huh. That's... How's it going? New. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Oh, I'm gonna sit this one out. We have more Yee. information to share that will shed new going. light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. But you'll just let it play, though. Yeah, I'll let it play, but I'm probably just gonna stay Pokemon silent. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. A scenic land where people and Pokemon oh, work together toward a prosperous future. <gasps> Among them, on! you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. <laughs> a giant Today, a giant we'll cover four features you can look forward to. <clears throat> four features. First, customizing your look. Once again, yes, the that latest entry in the series for. lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety including outerwear and gloves. Oh, cool! Plus, oh, you can the... change your hairstyle. Oh, cool! Or put on a little makeup. Just like There's X and Y! There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part, too, don't you think? Neat! Second, Pokemon Camp. Pokemon During Camp? Your journey through Aww. the Gala region, you can camp any time at Pokemon Camp. Is that a shiny El Creamy? You can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. There's a carnivore! Along one of your Pokemon oh, and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. <laughs> we definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Oh, really? Third, Curry on rice. 
Korean rice. Pokemon Camp freak? is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Ooh. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is actually ultimately depends cooking? on which berries and other ingredients you use. Well, that's Not cool. to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? Wait a minute. And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon a discovered in the Galaxy. Pokemon? First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Wait, is it like a When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Wow. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo a Switch. Ain't that swell. A teacup goes <laughs> Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. That's a special so, one It's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Okay, yeah, we know that. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. <gasps> no way! No way! <laughs> no way! Nintendo Switch Online. Yes! With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. There are some you may not expect. Like Stunt Race FX, which will be available I have, I have to play no on system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing you the Joy-Con control to a friend. Or even I have absolutely online. no words right now. I am so happy! Oh, this is just too good. The function will be available from launch. Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, Rewind, that's exclusive. The, the NES one doesn't have that. Here are the first games we plan to release. <gasps> Look at all those games, dude! Nice! All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Oh! Oh! Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Oh, this offer is goodness. exclusively available to Nintendo Switch the online games members. The best ones to so start please with. enjoy them at no additional right? charge. All of them! Oh. What you else this, did you? No way! To a recapture the original one? feel of these games, we will be releasing a what? Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online okay, exclusive it, controller that. as a special. Oh my God! I, it's bad. It's bad enough. I already have the NES like one. The Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So this Super NES style controller okay. will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, third! Wow, that's the, cheap. the The NES one was sixty dollars. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Dude, oh my god, that is just too good. Oh, I'm getting that, I'm getting that. Sure, you know Tetris. Wait, what? We could not have called that. The large scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting. I honestly thought a while, but I didn't think we'd ever do it. I, I honestly thought that would be a little too much, but wow. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, oh my gosh. Wait till I tell my crew about this. Oh my gosh. By clearing these missions, 
You okay, the fact that Terry Bogart's in this match this is all made up for it. Sweet. All of this made up I mean, for it. At least, again, at least it wasn't Sans. I was really expecting Sans in Smash. At least it wasn't Steve. Steve or Sans. I would have been disappointed if it was Sans. I'm sorry about my reaction to Tokyo Rockstar. You guys, if I had a bad experience for the game and the game is together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch system. I'll talk more about that when we're done here. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A package Everything, this is just, DLC oh wow, it's gonna be a, con it's, you could actually have a physical copy now. Will be available September 6th. Nice. Mario and Sonic oh, hey. are ready to kick it old school oh, until you more overused Sonic at the stuff. Games has become a Haven't we seen of enough of this already? Time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football. It's the same problem that Yoshi's Island had. They just keep making all of these games when there's really no point to them. Badminton, gymnastics, well, some of the are pretty good. And you know what? There's more I think it really should have stopped at Yoshi's New Island, though. Check out these 10 retro style No way! Each one Isn't that cool? Two D style graphics. Bruh, no way. They're all new, so awesome. all retro, and very refreshing to play. <laughs> On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. <laughs> Mario and Sonic and really, it's, games it's, it's Tokyo, good guys with bad guys, basically. Go the Teaming <laughs> up by side. <laughs> Actually, the next Damon X Machina demo will be here <laughs> sooner than you think. Oh boy, I gotta tell Natalie about this. Release next week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina, yes! demo will be available for download this game for later a while. today. In this prologue, you'll man your mech to the beginning took the of the time game. making the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. I mean, how long were they working on this game? Action game? Almost two years. I still, yeah, yeah, I still remember we did, uh, I still had my original icon when we did the reaction for this one. Yeah, I remember that. I'm happy it took so long, now it's gonna be good, and it's local wireless seems. The full game includes online play! Nice. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on You can actually customize them, that's awesome! A god or a demon. Damon X Machina will be ready for action good. September 13th. September. Next week? That's not. Yeah. The Star Wars no so way! Back from no way! Wait a minute! They're not adding Outcast. Oh my god, they're adding the Outcast, the outcast to the Switch! Jedi. You gotta be kidding! I absolutely Last loved season. Outcast. I actually recently Primary just played it. The, the Steam version, that is. Nice! That's so cool! Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, oh, Jedi Knight wow! A few of my buddies are going to be going ballistic over this one. Wow! I love the Jedi Knight series, dude! Wait! Here's where my journey begins. Oh, the Witcher 3! Oh, Mercenary Monster Slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down oh, a living so, weapon known as um, Child of Prophecy. I always wanted to play the series. You'll have a whole world to Never got to. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October nice. 15th. So and glad we did all it. downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. So cool. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. <laughs> then transform into Ooh. an assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed 6. That's two action hey, games for Assassin's Creed. Hey, for Assassin's Creed fans, go for it, I say. All past single player DLC. So, so, just remember, though, it's Ubisoft, so take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but the it looks collection. pretty cool. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free to play action <laughs> RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran Somehow I knew that was Dauntless, and I never even see, seen it before. See, talking about this! Yeah, yeah, my friend Ali played. Shout out to my friend oh, Ali. Told me about this. Behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the so game's cool. launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. That's awesome looking! Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Like what? No idea. Tractor simulator, apparently. A tractor? <laughs> Wait, I thought we already had tractor simulator. Uh, Unless I was a mistake. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, they're not gonna show.
show off Ghostbusters Remastered. That gives me the big sad. Oh, Farming oh, Simulator. Oh, Wrath of White. Oh, I've been wanting to get this game actually. Because, you know, I love the art style of the game. It looks good. Oh, Soaring Off Us with Light. Call of Cthulhu! That was on the PlayStation 2! Outer Worlds? The Outer Worlds? Okay, um, uh. That will make cry to. Nice. Hey, that that one goes out to my boy Arturo and my boy Natalie and Jaden. You're watching this. I know you love that will make cry. Uh, okay. How's everything going? Going great. We're still not done. We're still not done. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Huh? Oh, hey, it's Tom Nook. I actually didn't even know that was his name. That's the funny part. Yes, no doubt her about the Zero Dial and Factors Gateway and my company Nook on the I prepared a fun promotion video just for you. Aw, thanks, Tom. It's called Welcome to Island Life. He's such a good guy. Oh, it's starting, it's starting. So, it looks like he was wearing pajamas. I know! I love Thank it. you for choosing so the casual. Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of I'm nature so awaits. I'm excited for this! For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island life. I remember Bill? It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. There's Tom, hi Tom, and there's For starters, Timmy and Tommy. We'll provide there's you with Tommy. A Please select the spot where you'd there's like it set up. Oh, and there's downs, something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Nook really? Phone is pre -installed with a variety yeah, get me one of those. It's probably better than my phone. Island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. How oh, cool! Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some That's materials. Awesome. Like branches. Me. And stones. Yuck. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Oh, that's so cool. Kind of like done. Minecraft only with Animal Crossing. You can use sure the tools so okay. to acquire new materials like this. And with those, we're still you 33 minutes into this. Items. Jeez, we still a few minutes to go. Feel free to place <clears throat> furniture inside. Or outside. You can fine tune the That's an odd design for the villager, but I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. And you can yeah, that is really neat. Deserted island life. I like that. Let's head back to resident services. Oh, Here there's we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In nice. addition to the usual in-game currency, <clears throat> Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage oh. of this program. That's there nice. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. I love fishing. Catch some bugs. Oh, I love the new net design. Flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. <laughs> you made that out of weeds. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Oh, wow. Nice. Never had that in the snack before. will help you shovel up a tree in no time. And the fact that you can shovel up trees is amazing. Find it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. Hmm. Instantly, the scenery changes so with the cool. time and weather. Before there you had to wait like hours to do cloudy it. Cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. 
Wow. That's amazing. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Oh, there's, there's, there's penguins. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. Four players! We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. Four players? With a local wireless or That's internet cool. connection, you can Up travel to eight to players can play online. Island for a total of That's eight awesome. players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Hmm. That's cool! That's so cool! How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's what? so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, Rosie! and more calling to you from the Rosie. island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. That's gonna be awesome. Looks pretty danklage spanklage. March 20th of 20, 2020. I love it! I love it! So, how did it look? Fantastic! There's plenty time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for All right. Rocket. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Okay. It better not be Undertale. Uh, Undertale's already out. Oh, okay, never mind. Is this another Xenoblade game? It looks like it. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, that's definitely Xenoblade, the way those mountains are. Wait, is this Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Wait. Are they remastering the first one? Do you wish to that change? That was Sulk. Huh? The future. Oh, they're just gonna resurrect him and put him in the third game. Definitive edition. Awesome. I finally get to play the first one! Yeah, I don't have the first one because I don't have a new 3DS XL, so I can't play it. Darn. But, 2020. Now I can play it! Ain't that swell. Microsoft's Xenoblade yeah. Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. Wow, I can't believe I want to be saying 2020 soon. I know. Well, that's that. Huh? Well, let's get to our thoughts real quick. Well, I'm surprisingly, I'm not walking away disappointed. That was a lot better than I thought it would have been. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, like you saw in the trailer, the only thing I was disappointed by was the um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions game ported to Switch because, like I said, guys, I have played the game and it is not a good game. I played it because I played many RPGs. It was the only RPG I actually walked away from. At least Sticker Star, I played the whole game. Mm. I ranked this Sticker Star above Tokyo Mirage Sessions. <laughs> now that's saying something. Yeah, that's how much of a slap to the face Tokyo Mirage Sessions was because... I know many other people, many other people, who said they were disappointed with that game severely. So seeing this port, I'm like, did they not listen? Apparently not. They just focused on the Fire Emblem characters that were in it, apparently. <laughs> but there's a problem. The Fire Emblem characters mm. of that game are mere armor for those terrible, bland characters. Uh -huh. Absolutely bland. And I mean, the characters are so generic... It makes the Toads and Sticker Star look interesting. Jeez. I'm, yeah, I'm being nice about it. 
and all they do in there is like, idol singing, idol singing, how we fight in the game is idol singing, that's all we want to do, <coughs> idol singing. I'm like, no. Bad. It's not how that works. I'm like, and this is supposed to be, that was supposed to be Shin Megami Tensei crossover. <laughs> they amazingly failed. They failed so bad, even the fans... I kid you not. I went to game stores and they said, "Oh, by the way, people brought it back the same day." I'm like, "That's." that's I'm like, "How bad was it?" They're like, "We're warning you. It's bad." Played it an hour, took it back. <sighs> the story was stupid and bland as well. It it was. <laughs> I mean, no offense to people who actually like the game. If you like it, that's fine. You like it, but I did not enjoy it. I <laughs> I couldn't. And I know people who had to suffer and play the entire game. And said it was the worst story they've ever seen. I was like, just... I was like wow. <coughs> you know, I'm just getting the bad one out of the way first. You know, get that out of the way. Yeah. Okay, enough about that. Let's yeah. talk about some of the pretty good stuff. Like, yeah. <coughs> I will admit, Terry Bogart seeing him get in. And Smash, I was like, Ugh. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I, I honestly don't know how to feel about it. It's it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least it wasn't Steve for Minecraft. Yeah, or Sans. I really thought it was gonna be Sans. No, they're not gonna do that right now. <laughs> but what really got me excited. And as you saw earlier in the video, was the fact that they're making a lot more DLC characters, just like I said a few directs back, saying they'll probably make another fighter pass more DLC fighters. And what did I say? I called it. Yeah. I called it. So it's not going to be the last one, guys. Don't worry. Even with this fifth one, they're going to be making another fighter pass. And hopefully they actually put in good characters this time around. Chrono. Come on, you have a chance to redeem yourself. Yes, put Chrono in. Chrono, I thought his chances of getting in were dead. He has one final chance to get into the game. Yeah, Chrono. Like, um, Shantae. Crash Bandicoot. Um, let's see. For the heck of it, to be from near Onomata. Just for the heck of it. Yeah. It's like, she's another deserving one. Spyro would be another great one. Um, let's see. Hmm. Who else would be a good one to put in? Besides those five. Um. Mm, sadly, Gino might not get in for all I know. I don't know if he will or not. Yeah, I mean, Gino he, might not get in. I mean, if he did, that would be fantastic. I, I, I... Be I'd welcome him with open arms. And another one I would absolutely love to see in Smash that deserves a spot for many, many years is Ryu Hayabusa. Uh, yes, that's what the rumors were supposed to be. Even everybody in the Newborn Nation server were saying it. He might be the fifth DLC in this case, and I wouldn't be I upset about at all. I, I don't mean to sound sexist or rude here, but let's hope the last character isn't a female one, because we all know what happened last time they put in a female as the last DLC for Smash Brothers. Unless it's Shantae. It, unless it's Shantae, yeah. True. Yeah, she's a special case because she was an older character that deserves a lot of love. She is yeah. one that deserves a lot, a lot more respect than being just a mere spirit. Valid. Because people are like, oh, the spirits you can characters. I'm like, all the characters have their own spirits. Nice try. King K. Rule has a couple separate spirits. And yeah. he's in the game. I mean, Simon Belmont has some other spirits. Mario has other spirits. Bowser. Oh, yeah. Peach. Daisy. A lot of them have their own spirits. And I tell people, I'm like, and you think spirits sneak in from characters? Say that to those spirits then. True. I'm like, say that to those 
So I don't. I think Shantae still has a big chance. If if you ask me. <clears throat> and the, and if the people in the comments section say Shantae will never be in. Well, you're the same kind of people who attack us for no good reason, so you can just keep silent. Yeah. You know? You know? I mean, not to sound rude or anything, but I'm sick and tired of all the hate. I'm tired of it. Because, I'm going to say right now, guys, we have been bombarded since the November Direct. Because when Shanti was a spirit, all the haters and bailmates came after us relentlessly, ruthlessly. And they still won't stop. Because they have nothing better to do with their lives, apparently. And it's pitiful. It's very pitiful. I'm just going off my head right now. Because I'm tired of it. Yeah, you know. And JJ knows yeah. how that feels. Yeah, I remember when all of this was happening. Yeah, JJ's witnessed it. Heck... He's even witnessed it for wanting Chrono and Smash. Right? Yeah, I don't get you... hate like you do, but I just get ignored. <clears throat> or sometimes you get people saying... <clears throat> like that. I'm like, really? I'm like, really? People, do you not have childhoods? Apparently not. Apparently they don't have childhoods at all because they don't even want Chrono. And I'm like... Uh, Chrono's deserving, Shantae's deserving, Crash Ryu is deserving. Ryu deserving. 2B would be a deserving spot, in my opinion. Because I had never played her games. I never played her game yet. I want to. I wouldn't mind seeing her in Smash. Even though I've never played her game, I would love to see it, especially for the other 2B fans out there. So, yeah. That's that. Yeah, well, holy cow, we did a lot in this recording, didn't we? It would appear so. Okay, hold on, just a second. I apologize, I had to fix something real quick. Alright, well, <clears throat> anyway... Do you have any last words for this um, video, JJ? Uh, well, other than that this Direct was surprisingly solid and actually showed a lot of stuff that kind of interested me. Luigi's Mansion 3, SNES Classics, you know, that was yes. pretty good. I could have, I would have never predicted Super Nintendo Classics. I thought the harder would have been too powerful for them to emulate. <clears throat> but apparently we're getting them tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. So I'm going to make sure to get on my Switch and download that. Yeah, and I mean, and Banzo and Kazooie released today. So, so that's I, what I everybody what in good... the Newport was talking about. Yeah, sorry. I know what I'm going to be getting today. I'm getting the Fighter yeah. Pass. I was waiting for Banzo and Kazooie to come out so I could get three characters at once. Now I can. So expect to see me online with Banzo. I'm surprised they're doing five. Yeah. JJ? Mm. 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 Well, I think we should end it off well, here. Yeah, probably the best idea. All right, well... Don't worry, though. We'll be, if you, we'll be probably around for our friend Blue Eyes' reaction if he actually decides to do a reaction. Yeah, he might. So, well... Well, thanks for joining me again, JJ. Uh, thanks for having me, as always. Yep, and this has been Child the Gamer. That guy the spy. Saying, God bless you all, have a wonderful night, and if you want to to comment on what you thought about the direct, please comment below so we can talk to you guys about it. Mm -hmm. And remember, like I said before, nothing, nothing hateful, just let's talk about it. Yes, it's to talk about it like grown-ups. I know. Well, I'll see you later, guys. Stay frosty. <laughs>